Social media is an unbelievably powerful platform, regardless of what platform you use, be that YouTube, Twitch, Twitter, etc., etc. And the thing about powerful platforms is no matter how big or how small you are, you get to influence people. And that is a big deal. And when you are influencing people, you really do have to be careful about what you say. And that's what this video is all about. Hello again, everybody, and welcome back to Fujits Blitz. And as I said in the title, this is a video about social media, basically. And no, it's not a rage video. It's more like, let's get back to reality and have a bit of a reality check. Now, Blitz and a particular social media platform, YouTube, seem to be a marriage made in heaven with almost every man and his dog being able to have a YouTube channel of some description highlighting content that is Blitz related. And because there are so many people on YouTube doing Blitz, there's always this, how do I get more subscribers? Because at the end of the day, there's only so many replays you can watch. There are only so many reviews you can stomach. So YouTubers are constantly looking for new content and inevitably, because this is the way the human mind works, people want more subscribers and more views really quickly. So they turn to what we call clickbait. Now, I don't have a problem with clickbait as long as it's positive clickbait. You know, if you want to say to somebody, if you want to entice somebody to watch your video and it's a positive spin on the, on the title, then that's up to you but I don't subscribe to negative clickbait. And I certainly don't subscribe to drama. Now, now I generally don't care what other Blitz YouTubers use for content. It doesn't really bother me. How people run their YT channel, etc., etc., is completely up to them. However, like I said in the intro, it doesn't matter how big or small you are, if you are on YouTube as a Blitz content provider, then you are effectively an influencer. You are getting to reach a large proportion of the player base, funnily enough. And therefore, you really do need to be careful about the message that you're pushing out there. Now, I religiously look on the internet, on YouTube, almost daily, to see what new content has hit Blitz. And the other day, I came across a video saying that how the game is rigged against you. And I watched this video, and again, it's, it's an opinionated video, and what the content creator is saying, you know, if that's his opinion, that's his opinion. However, the way it's put across, when you then look at the comment section, you see that there's a lot of discontent. And a lot of discontent that is absolutely unfounded. And it's only founded on the premise of what that content creator has stated. So that particular video said, you know, the MM is against you, RNG is against you, uh, which makes you lose more games. And I sat there thinking, well, is that true? And it's, this is a theory that's been in Blitz as the game for a long time. I mean, if you go onto any of the forums, there are entire threads devoted to how the MM is rigged against you. But is it? Now, a lot of people are latching on to the fact at the moment that there are a lot of low win rate players in the upper tiers. And because there are all these low win rate players in the upper tiers, you're being put into bad teams and it's an absolute disaster and it's rigged against you and it shouldn't happen and we should all run to the hills and start playing Fortnite instead because either the game is dying or the game is rigged or low win rate players need to be put against a wall and shot. None of these things are true. They are myths. They are legends. They are what we are being told and we then look at our own negative thoughts and our negative reasonings compare that to ourselves and say, my God, yes, you know, I lost that game 7-0. I was a 55% win rate player and everybody else was 40%. That's why I lost. Wargaming have it in for me. But that's utter nonsense. And I'm going to prove to you why it's utter nonsense. 
So let's have a look at my accounts on Blitzstars. So this is my main account on the EU server. And as you can see, I have a 59% win rate over the last 30 days. But this is the important thing. My win rate has gone up. Everything actually has gone up. So if Wargaming have it in for me, if the game is rigged, why have all my stats gone up? And they have, you can see it. This is evidence, this shows you that. So if I'm getting progressively bad teams on my side, how is my stats going up? And that's just my EU account. So what about the other servers I'm on? Because I'm on all of them. Well, this is my Asia account, which I play regularly. And you can see that I have a 73% win rate. You know, and again, all my stats are going up. They're not going down. They are increasing. So if the MM is so bad, if the teams are so bad, if the game is so rigged, why is my EU account and why is my Asia account going up? And what about my NA account? Well, here I have a 58% win rate. And again, my stats are not dropping massively. You know, I've lost a little bit of stats on NA, mainly because of uh, the fact I haven't been playing it very often because of very high ping. But again, you know, I'm not losing out massively here. Everything is going up, not down in real terms. It's positively in the right direction. And you can see this. And this is my CIS account. I mean, I've got a 100% win rate. This is hardly anybody saying that Wargaming have it in for you. Seriously, guys. And okay, I've only done 11 battles and they've all been against bots. But herein is my point, because for some strange reason we're infatuated with win rate, MM, and all that sort of jazz. And there are literally hundreds of videos telling you that you know you should be at a sixty percent win rate or plus. In fact, that seems to be the holy grail of Blitz. You know, you've got to get to sixty percent. You've got to have that little light blue half to your name well you know what you're not gonna win all your games simple fact of life you're not potentially going to get to that win rate all you can ever do is get better that's what you can ever do you know and if you are just set mindful on getting super duper unicum status or whatever, then just re-roll. Do what I did on CIS. Now, I, by the way, I've got a CIS account because I had to create one to stream the Blitz Cup. So that's why I got it, by the way. Uh, that's why I've only played 11 games because I had to play some games to open the training rooms so I could get the invites. Now, could I sit there with hand on heart and say, I'm now a super duper unicorn, one of the best players in the game because I've got a 100% win rate? Of course not, because that's just stupidly ridiculous. What about my Asia account? What about my NA account? I mean, I'm a unicorn and a super unicorn on both of those. They're not a reflection of me. My EU account is a reflection of me, which is why I'm only a 53 point whatever it is percent win rate player on my main account. And you know what? That doesn't bother me because I look at those stats and regardless of what you are being told or what you may think about bad games, low win rate players and all that baloney, if you are trying to improve and you personally are trying to play better, your stats will go up and eventually you will get to a win rate that reflects your skill. And that is the important thing. Your stats reflect your skill. And as much as it may pain you to hear this, you may not be as skilled as you think. You may not be a 60% win rate player in real terms. You may only be a 48% win rate player, and that will be it. You may not get to that chalice, that golden chalice, holy grail of 60%, but 
But you can get better. And that's the thing. And it pains me when I see us as individuals scraping around for the excuse as to why we're not at 60%. It's not because we haven't got the skill. It's because the game is rigged against us to prevent us from getting there. If that's the case, how did the 60%ers get there? The MM is against us. It only puts me in noob teams. If that's the case, how did the other 60%ers get there? Where did the pros come from? Guys, stop looking at the piss poor excuses as to why you don't have a 60% win rate. Come back to reality. And your reality will tell you you are not ready. You are not a 60% win rate player yet. You need to work harder at it. Simple. Now, like I've said, if all that drives you is having a 60% plus win rate without the skill to warrant a 60% win rate, then do yourself a favor. Stop beating yourself up. Stop looking for the excuses by calling everybody a noob and abusing everybody and bemoaning the teams in the MM. Reroll your account, play your 100 games against the bots, and then finish the game. Then you can be happy. You can be incredibly happy. You can sit there and say, look at me, I've got my 75% win rate because I've only played tier one, two, and three. I've only played against bots. I am a super duper unicorn. I am amazing. And your day is complete. But is that the purpose behind the game? I mean, seriously, what is a the fundamental reason for playing a game? I mean, is it to just go out and have an easy ride? To, to just go out there and say, oh, this is easy. Wargaming and Water Tanks Bliss doesn't have the settings that console games have. You don't have easy, medium, hard, and super hard. You just have a game. Okay, it's as simple as that. And when you have a game with no default settings for the level of difficulty, you need to take the rough with the smooth. Sometimes you'll get games where on your team you're going to have poor players. And sometimes, just sometimes, you'll be in a team that has pro players, the best the game can offer. And tell me this, how many of you question the MM or question that the game was rigged when you win the game and you get a mastery? None of you. Why would you? The game's perfect then. You're really happy. But when you're YOLO and you get wasted in the first 30 seconds, of course the MM is against you or the rest of your team are noobs. Of course it's all about you. Of course Wargaming have rigged it so you don't get a winning streak. Well, what a load of rubbish. Seriously. Consider your own failures, for want of a better word. Sometimes your teams won't be great. Sometimes they will. Sometimes you won't play well, sometimes you will. And sometimes you just don't have the skill level. It's as simple as that really. But this is the thing, and this is the thing I keep trying to tell everybody. It's stop picking on your teammates. Stop picking on wargaming. Stop picking on all that rubbish. And just play the game and try to improve yourself. That's all you can do. That's all anybody can do. All you can do as an individual and a player is try your best to improve. Simple as that, really. And that's the whole purpose of the game. And the whole purpose of the win rate system and the stats is to show you if you are improving. But if you're one of these people who want those stats immediately, you want that win rate immediately, then you know what? This ain't the game for you in real terms. You need to find a game like, I don't know, tiddlywinks or whatever then then you'll be a happier person you won't be you won't be as toxic you won't pick on the people that are around you and this is the thing so stop looking for these piss poor excuses and youtubers the the newer breed i'm primarily aiming at here stop spreading this discontent stop going down this road of drama 
because it's not healthy for the game and the community. It really, really isn't. Because all you're doing is pandering to people's insecurities. If you really want to help people improve and you want the player base to improve and you want players to improve and you are a, yourself a good player, then teach them how to improve. Don't give them excuses as to why they're not improving. Show them your tips on why you are a good player and what you do to win a game. But if you are only infatuated in high damage and high win rate, you yourself as a YouTuber, then you know what? You're not teaching anybody or helping anybody anywhere. All you are doing is sowing those seeds of doubt. That doesn't make people feel better. It just gives people a reason to be toxic, either about the game or about their teammates. And that is not the right message to send. The right message to send is, is guys, okay, you're a 45% win rate player. Why are you a 45% win rate player? Have you looked at yourself? Have you understood yourself? Well, you're a 45% win rate player because you YOLO, you rush, you're overly aggressive. So you need to stop YOLOing. You need to stop rushing. You need to find better positions. You need to understand the maps. You need to play a tank that you are more comfortable in. Give them tips on how to improve. Don't give them excuses as to why they're not improving. Because that is the wrong way about it. It's not right. The MM, guys, is not rigged. It merely picks tier and tank. Plus one, minus one. So if you are in a tier eight, you can drop, you can get a tier seven game, a tier eight game, or a tier nine game. If you are in a heavy tank, you are not going to be put into a team with seven heavies against seven TDs. That is all the MM does. It allocates tank, class, and tier. Nothing else. Doesn't look at your battle count. Doesn't look at your performance. Doesn't look at your win rate. Random battles are just that, random. You are having a skill-based game, because the game is skill-based, that employs a non-skill-based MM. If you want a skill-based MM, play ratings. Simple. But until, you know, and lots of you turn around and say, oh, you know, but they should take this into account and that into account. Really? So you want a skill-based MM. You want to go out with another load of 60 percenters. Fine, then you'll all be 50% within, you know, a few, a few months. Because somebody's got to lose and somebody's got to win. That stands to reason. It, that's the way it works. And if you have an entire team of 60% players against a team of 60% players, one's going to win, one's going to lose. Or you may draw. And if you draw, that's the same as a win. Uh, sorry, sorry, the same as a loss. So you're going to end up at 50% eventually. And then you're all noobs, yeah? That's how it works. Because that's eventually what will happen. And then let's say you don't win 50% of your games. Let's say you only win 40% of your games. That means eventually you end up as a 40% win rate player. And then, am I allowed to shout at you, scream at you, call you a noob, tell you to delete the game? I mean, what mentality is this? I mean, it's, it's outrageous, this kind of thinking. Stop looking for the excuses. Start looking at your own games if you're a good player and you have the skill you will become 60 percent sooner rather than later if you are a mediocre player you put time work effort and everything into it you will become a good player eventually and if you're not if you don't care then it doesn't matter now if you really want, if you are a bad player or a mediocre player, then tune up with a good player. Follow their lead. 
let them carry you. What's the problem with that if that's all you're get geared up for? Because it will come within time. You will get better if, and this is the big point, if you've got the skills to get better. That is an interesting point though, guys, because not all of you have got the skills to get better. You can learn the tips, you can get the hints, you can play the tanks better, but you are not taking into account your reaction times and your own physical and mental characteristics. And I've said this before, I mean, I can sit there and watch replay after replay after replay of Lionel Messi playing football. And I can try and emulate him, but I will never be able to play football like Lionel Messi because I don't have the natural talent to play football like Lionel Messi. Simple as that. It's that simple. So get off these high horses, YouTubers, especially the younger breed. Stop giving people excuses. If you really want to progress the game and you really want to help the player base, then teach them how to play. Don't give them the excuse to say why they're playing badly and why they're not improving. Because it's the wrong message. I'm telling you, it is the wrong message. And I'm getting fed up with it. I'm getting fed up with all the drama that is coming out with YouTube at the moment. And there's a lot of drama. And some YouTubers, and guys, you know what I'm talking about. Stop it. Because I've had enough. I don't want to hear your moans, your whinges about not liking a particular other YouTuber. Give it a break. Stop feeding negativity. Stop feeding this rubbish. Because it is not healthy. It really isn't. And I'm not going to name names, but enough is enough, guys. I've seen too many, too many videos and live streams recently picking on people who I consider to be very good colleagues of mine knock it on the head now and I mean that because next time I will name and shame because it's out of order and you know what I'm talking about and I have nothing personally against these people but enough is enough knock it on the head anyway I've been fugit it's been a bit of a rant but it's also been a reality check. And this is the point, guys. I want the overall player base to improve. I want it to get better. You're only going to do that if you give them the tools to get better, not the excuses as to why they're not getting better. By all means, comment in everything below. I'd love to hear your thoughts on this. If you've got any decent replays, bring them across to me, fujitsblitz at gmail.com. I'd like to give a big thank you to both my Patreons and YouTube members. Patreons are being shown on the screen now. YouTube members are also being shown on the screen now. Without their support financially, these videos would be a lot harder to make. I'd also like to say a big thank you to all my subscribers for supporting me because without you, those videos would be absolutely meaningless, let's be honest. And until the next time, guys, remember the main thing. This is a bloody game. So stay safe. Have fun on the battlefield and a happy tanking. It's not just a catchy catchphrase. It really is all about having fun and being happy.